Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dahlia Orth and I'm a system strategist and a HoneyBook Pro and I love helping business owners build effective, efficient, and streamlined systems in their business to give them back time and freedom. So if you are new here, make sure you hit subscribe below so that you never miss a video and what's taking place. New videos are released monthly and so wanna make sure that you stay in the loop on what's going on. So in today's video, we are going to be talking all about HoneyBook and Zapier and how the two actually work together. It's actually one of the most common questions that I receive as a pro is how does HoneyBook work with Zapier, Zapier with HoneyBook, do I need both? What is the difference between the two? So first things first, we want to identify what are the two platforms and what do they actually do? So HoneyBook is a client relationship management software. So that means that basically everything is client facing. And so you can do invoices, you can do email templates, you can do pricing guides, contracts, scheduling, all of that behind the scenes in HoneyBook. It's very client facing. Whereas Zapier is actually a tool that you can use to integrate other platforms within HoneyBook that might not organically integrate with them already. So for example, you can integrate your Zoom account, Acuity, you can integrate your Gmail, you can integrate certain platforms within HoneyBook already because it's already built into the system. But there are actually a couple of other platforms that you can integrate within HoneyBook, but you actually need like a tool like a Zapier to help you kind of marry the two. We often say like you just have to zap the two together. And so that's what we are going to walk through today is how to actually set up a zap within Zapier and integrate it with HoneyBook. So things like Google Drive, you could do something in. Trello is another example of a platform that you can integrate with HoneyBook that you might not be able to integrate within HoneyBook itself, but Zapier could allow you to do that. So we're going to dive in. I'm going to give you a little behind the scenes tutorial on how to set up your first zap and work hand in hand with both platforms. All right, so when you first come into Zapier, you want to first make an account, obviously. I actually use my Google account and I link everything up with that. So when you first come in here, you wanna meet, you wanna look for your two apps that you're gonna connect. So in this video, we're gonna connect HoneyBook and you're gonna choose which other app you wanna zap it with. So it could be a MailChimp, you could do Trello, you could do Google Drive, you could do it with your Slack channel. So there's a few in here. There's not like a really robust amount, but there's a few that you might really want to, you know, connect with like your project management tool or your Google Drive, all of those good things. I personally love the Google Drive one because then anytime someone is a, is a new project in my HoneyBook, I have a new folder for them and I can just get all their assets in that Google Drive folder, no problem. So let's go with this one. So we're gonna create, try it. So you're gonna click on that one. We're gonna say, I'm gonna create this new project. So when a new project is booked in HoneyBook, we wanna tell Zapier to create a Google folder in my Google Drive. So we wanna title this maybe like Google Drive and HoneyBook up here, okay? And then, okay, so we wanna choose my account. So obviously like my HoneyBook account is the one connected to this. And then we want to come down here. So you have to make sure your accounts are connected. So we wanna sign into my Google Drive account, which is right here. And we're going to allow Zapier to have access to that. And so then we're gonna just hit continue. And then now we're gonna set up the action. So you have to tell Zapier, you know, what in my Google Drive we wanna we wanna have, you know, what parent folder. So you wanna make sure you have folders connected to the Google Drive that you want Zapier to create within um, from HoneyBook. So you wanna make sure you put all of these fields in here, and then when you're done with that. You have to set up the actions up here. When you're done with that, then you want to test the action. So then Zapier will do a test zap, as we like to call it, to make sure that when a new project is booked in HoneyBook, it then creates a Google Drive for you. So that's how you would set up your first Zapier within here, but it, there's a few other options too. So a lot of it is just connecting your two accounts, telling it what to do, setting up the action of what to do, and then testing it out. And you'll see that there's this green check mark and these, these icons over here will tell you whether or not they're they're good to go. Obviously, I have a few more steps in my own Zapier that I have to take care of before it's good to go. But then once you test it out and you have it ready to go, then you can just set it and forget it. But it's a beautiful thing. And Zapier will be good about telling you like if you need to make any changes or adjustments behind the scenes. But go on in and set that up for your own business and take advantage of doing that within your own HoneyBook account with some of the options that they do currently offer in Zapier and start integrating those within your HoneyBook account. 